Hi everybody, welcome to the Drone Zone. I hope you are ready to start a new series with me building my very first drone, the Tyro 119. And I just got it today with all of these parts. So we'll go through each one of these and try to assemble it into what looks like this. So I'm a true beginner when it comes to drone building. But my background in college is I got a double ET, electrical engineering technology degree. And so I know a little bit about soldering and putting things together. So we're gonna try that and we'll show you that a true beginner can put this together. Let's first get started with the frame. This video we'll just put the frame together. The next video we'll put the electronics on and then go from there, okay? So when you open the bag, you'll get all of these carbon fiber parts and you're just going to need the frame parts, okay? So you'll have the arms, camera parts here, we'll save those for later, and the body here. So also when you get all of these parts, you'll have a bag full of all of these components in them, all of these screws and hardware, the plastic nuts and everything. And what I went ahead and done already is just separated them into the different sizes and different groups. So you can see that right there. This will help you stay organized. This is a nice silicone, silicone soldering pad so that you can keep everything organized. There's a few different magnets on here as well so you don't lose certain items. So let's get started then. So you'll need this plate. This will be your bottom plate that's shaped like an X. You'll need an arm and I'm going to keep my arms where this uh, lip or nub, nub here is pointed towards the inside of the drone. And you'll see a couple different screw sizes here. So you're going to need a lock nut. And then in order to screw that in, you'll need one of these uh, shorter ones. The longer ones will go into the second hole because you're gonna need to put, um, secure the standoffs to that but I'll just go ahead and put that in now. And then uh, here we go. Here's the skinnier one or the sh shorter one, sorry. That will go here. Place that on like so. And you'll know if you have the wrong size screws because this one is rather too short to even fit through um, the whole length there. So obviously put that one back. You'll use this one and your longer one. And here we got the, long, the uh, lock nut. And the other one, you will put this metal. Um, it's not even a lock nut, it's uh, some other kind of nut that they provide you. And let's tighten those up with some tools here. I found out that the size of the lock nut is a size seven uh, 30 seconds wrench. So if you want to get one of those, you can, or just use some pliers. And then the size of the hex bolt is a size number uh, two metric. So I basically have all the arms installed now. You really wanna make sure that these uh, collar nuts are oriented in a way where they uh, go, let's see if you can see it on the camera. This smaller side or this skinnier diameter um, side goes down into the hole that way it uh, takes up all that slack in the hole when you tighten everything down so let me show you so i got i got this finger tightened for example take your allen wrench and when you um, when you screw or tighten the bolt it will draw that down into the hole more and really secure it you see that so there goes the gap, there's no more gap. There, it looks pretty good. So that gives you some height there to put a uh, standoff on. So do that for the, all of the other three internal um, bolts. Okay, now I'll go ahead and tighten the outside bolts. I'm not gonna over tighten them, just going to really snug them down. There's no sense in getting them ridiculously tight what the purpose of the having the lock nut is. Okay. Okay, there you have it. 
there's your drone frame. Feels very sturdy actually. Okay, let's go ahead and put the standoffs on in the middle here. Those are also a seven thirty seconds fit. You don't have to get them super tight either because you'll strip plastic if you do. Okay, all the standoffs are on now. Okay, and it looks like I, I am left over with um, one long screw and one shorter screw. So if you did mess up on one of the screws here, at least you had one left of each. I'll go ahead and put those here since maybe I won't need them later. Let's go ahead and just double check our work. Everything looks good here. So the nubs are on the insides of the drone. This is the front of the drone. There's the camera. Okay, so we got the uh, all of the bolts in there properly with the correct collar nuts sunken down into the holes the lock nuts are all solid on there and the standoffs right nothing feels loose or shaky I'll take a look at the picture and also double check make sure we we didn't miss anything and things look good so i also have that behind me and then next now we're ready to actually put the electronics on and the motors and do some soldering so stay tuned for that video next <laughs> 